is you want to track your meals for at least two to three weeks. You want to do this for a long period of time because it become overwhelming trying to track that food day after day for months and months and months. And we don't want that. We don't want another um, uh, task or another thing you have to do that makes it very inconvenient. I just want you to do this for like two to three weeks. Go to MyFitnessPal or you can do it on pen and paper, whichever one works best for you. Now this way, when you track your food, this way you can know exactly how many calories am I taking in on average per day. How can I adjust this to reach my goal, right? How can I decrease the calorie intake? How much sugar, added sugar am I getting in per day? I'm getting 90 grams of added sugar. How can I get that down to 25 grams per day? My sodium is 3,200 milligrams on average per day. How can I get that down to 1,800? When you know these numbers, it gives you a way to kind of plan and have a strategy to get these numbers down. Now, what most of us make the mistake of doing is we see these numbers and we want to change everything all at once. It's become very overwhelming. What I suggest is this. Take one thing, let's say it's the sugar intake, that's 90 grams per day, you try to get it down to 25. Focus on that for the next two to three weeks. Once you feel like you accomplished that goal, then move on to the next. The next goal could be, hey, my portions are huge, I'm getting too many calories in at each meal. That's the next goal. How can I reduce my portion size? Let's focus on that for two to three weeks. So on and so on until you get every category where you want it to be. So don't push it too much when it comes to the exercise and when it comes to nutrition goals. Make sensible and strategic goals to get you to that ultimate goal. Take those small steps to get to that big goal at the end.